Hello and what is up there guys, welcome back to another episode in my Feyen series. Again, we're not in Feyen, we're in my single player world. And usually I know there are two versions of every tutorial I do. This time though, there will only be an English version. And that's just because of the reason that this will be a let's build of the lumber mill I have in River Vault or something like that. But I have only one good place on this map, so it will just be in English, and yeah, but it will be followable, followable by Dutchies as well. So what we'll do to start out with is just raise some pillars, about four high, I should think, and this is gonna be a let's build just because. It's a bit more complicated build, so I don't want to be tutorial be doing a tutorial on it just because I could be making some some mistakes in this. So yes, let's add that like this. And then this is where the water wheel can come out. And turn, we'll just delete some of this below to make room for the wheel to spin in. So yes, um, so this is not going to be a block by block tutorial as I did on the previous builds, but it should be followable uh, because I'm not building that fast anyway. So. You should be able to keep up. As you can see, I'm just making this side first because this is the hardest side, and the other side is really easy once you've got this. So, yep. That's looking quite alright. Let's. Oh, wrong wood. Let's add the beams in, and of course or signature with adding beams everywhere sticking out um, so yeah that should be should be fine then one thing I know that this is going to be five and then we've got the other side as well three more And there we go. And one over here and one over there. Should mean that we've got our basic shape. And then on this side we can do the same that we did on the other side. So just raise the cobblestone walls around the build. And you could even add a door in here if you want to make the place uh, a place where someone could actually live in. So yes, we got it like that. Then we'll take out stone brick stairs as well, just to add some extra support to the build. Oh. There we go. Fill that back in. Um, I won't be doing this side just yet because that's going to be where the entrance to this lumber mill will be. Um, let's see. Let's make the mill itself out of. I guess we'll use oak wood for it. And this is a very simple water wheel design. You could make it way more complicated, but just I just went for something that was small and practical because I didn't want something too big. And yeah, as you can see, this is really, really a very easy 
simple design no rocket science here so yeah there we've got the water wheel we've got our build it's a bit sticking out but it's just because of this water side if you would clear all this water out you could have it one closer probably would lo look a little bit better though if you do that now what we'll do is we'll add in our cobblestone floor why cobblestone just because there needs to be a saw on this level and if it would be wood it would cut right through the floor and this beam is supposed to going to be powering up the saw this we're gonna make sure that so we're gonna make sure that the saw is right on top of that block something like that yes I think this is quite high enough so we'll, we'll just do it that and continue to fill in the floor oh, like this maybe just one one less and then we'll start by adding this the staircase down oh and anyway we're gonna we're gonna be filling this in and of course this all depends on your landscape because I don't have to go that far down in this case but you could if it's as flat everywhere you could just go down one further or one less depends on your landscape but we're not going to be focusing on that because that's a really easy part of the build anyway. So we're just going to be focusing on the saw a bit more. And yeah, the saw isn't that hard to build actually. It's not that hard at all. You just need to have some imagination. And I based this design pretty much on what I saw in. Uh, in Skyrim so that's pretty much it I'm just gonna add fences all around here so that you can't fall out of the actual saw and this is this is gonna be one higher though oh not like that not like that at all um, So yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to add a fence up there. And we're going to add one like that. Then we're going to add some locks here. And then like it like it's being cut down so that's always good then we'll add I guess this will be a little bit higher we'll add three up here because otherwise it's not high enough and Well, we're still going to be making a curve on this roof, I guess. So something along the lines of that. So yeah, like this. Should be looking alright. And... Something like that. And then on the other side, we'll do the same thing. And so this is coming together quite, quite nice indeed. Um, okay, well, we'll start by adding Hmm. 
Well, I guess this edge is gonna be straight because can't really do much different about that. And then this is where the change has to come in. So we'll take out spruce with stairs and spruce with planks. And we'll do stairs like, like that. Then a stair there. And another one like this. So yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that's gonna be making the curve. So we'll place normal stair like this. And this one can stick up when they There we go. Yep, so that's looking about right. On this side we'll do the same. So like this and and there we go. Like that. And then the last row. We'll do that. And then like this on this side. Yeah, well, should be getting along now. That's getting along. And again, like I did on the tutorials, we'll only be doing one side of the roof. Just because after that you should be getting the idea of how you should do the whole roof. And otherwise this video will be way too long for nothing new to happen. So like this and then like that. So like this. There we go, like that. Oh, normal one. Normal one. And a normal one. Something like along the lines of the. Oh, we forgot one here. You probably spotted that a while back, but it's always harder to build when you're doing stuff on camera. Because you're focusing on two things at once, you're talking and you're, you're building. And that can be a little bit hard sometimes. Oops. And then here again. And one over there. Three blocks here. There we go, we're finishing up this lumber mill. Should get some slabs on both sides. And we'll do upside down there. Slabs again stairs again and a slab and that should be the roof actually well we could make this one higher then so yeah that's the roof I quite like that so this would be the limber mill I guess and then of course when you go inside you could make this into a little house seal this room off because this is going to be the engine of the of the saw but as you saw it's <laughs> okay that's uh, that's just funny anyway uh, I don't particularly like this bit though we should try to still have something 
something going on here. Because otherwise it doesn't really look as round as I would like. So yeah, I, I think that could work actually. And then we'll need upside down ones there and there. But I think that should fix the, the look of this. Yes, that's much better. So yeah, that's the let's build of my lumber mill. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, Please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And next time we'll be back with more fiend videos. And yeah, I will see you then. Bye bye.